Hey guys, this is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 and I'm going to do a real world water resistance test. Being a foldable device, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is not waterproof but it has a water resistance of IPX8. I'm sure most of you are curious like me to see if the inner screen is going to hold after submerging the device for at least 30 minutes. And yes, I'm going to leave this device inside water for 30 minutes and after that I'm going to test the device to see if it is still working properly and if I may have any issues. I'm doing this so that you do not have to try this at home and risk to damage your very expensive Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. As always, subscribe to the channel and like the video to help me make more videos like this. And most importantly, share the video because there is no other video demonstrating the water resistance of a Galaxy Z Fold 5 in real life so currently you can see the phone is still alive and it is responding when i unfold the device i can see the inner screen is still working but i do not have access to the chronometer now and i'm not really sure if i am above five minutes or below five minutes of submerging this device if you wonder if there is any clapping sound when you fold the device underwater i can confirm that there is no sound and it can even be dangerous for the device while you fold and unfold the device water may enter the hinge mechanism seeing all these bubbles coming from the inner screen cannot mean anything good for the phone but it is still alive and working so at this moment the phone has been submerged underwater for more than eight minutes now unfortunately the other screen still does not support the s pen if it did i could have navigated the phone inside water i'm very close to 10 minutes now and i'm still seeing a lot of bubbles coming out of the device and anytime you see some bubbles it may mean that water is being exchanged by air that is inside the phone the ipx8 rating means that the device can survive 30 minutes underwater up to 1.5 meter but it is not dust resistant this is the official definition of ipx8 and it might be under laboratory conditions. The phone seemed to be working normally and as soon as I unfold the device the inner screen is lighting up. For the next 15 minutes I will leave the device like this and monitor any bubbles that may appear and count them. The bubble on the top left is getting bigger and bigger which cannot be a good news. After a few minutes I saw another bubbles forming on the top right of the device. I can understand bubbles are forming around the speaker which is designed to take some water in but on the top right and left of the screen it does not look normal. The phone has been submerged for more than 30 minutes and it is time to remove the device and see if there is any damage or any function that may not work. So at this moment I forgot to do something that would have given me the exact amount of water that is inside the phone which was to weigh the device and subtract the weight of the device with water and the device without water. Since the inner screen is working the first thing that I did was to fold the device and unfold the device to see if it is working normally. The touch screen of the inner screen is responding normally it is a little bit slippery since it still has some water. I will have to wipe off all the water that is on the inner screen and and after that I can be sure that the phone is working properly. Also one thing that I noticed was while folding the device or unfolding the device it seems to be a little bit more difficult than usual. Probably the Galaxy Z Fold 5 has some water on the hinge mechanism. Next I'm going to wipe off all the excess water that is around the body of the device and after that wipe everything that is on the inner screen. Right now I'm going to play some water eject sound and see where the water is coming from. Like I said the speakers are designed to take some water but stop the water from going beyond the speaker point. So I'm very disappointed. I'm not seeing any water around the speakers. Normally playing this sound should push most of the water out of the speakers. Also since there is no speaker around the hinge mechanism, there is no way water can be expelled out of that without force. Samsung did redesign the hinge mechanism on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. This is why I'm seeing some water on the two extremities of the hinge mechanism. The best way to expel all the water out of a smartphone is to violently shake the device and you will see water coming out of the speakers. Since this phone has two big speakers on the extremities, shaking on one side might push the water on the inside on the other speaker. After all this shaking, I made sure that the phone is still alive and not showing a black screen. After shaking both extremities of the phone, I am going to try to shake on the hinge mechanism and see if I have some water that are going out of there. I can confirm that water has entered the phone through the extremities of the hinge mechanism. You can see we have some water on the two extremities of the phone. So after seeing this, you may think that your smartphone, a foldable device, is safe inside water. But I do not recommend that you put your device inside water because the risk of damaging your foldable is real and it is very high. 
So right here, something unusual happened. I had a ghost touch on the inner screen. I'm certain that I have expelled almost all the water out of the phone. I'm not really sure why, but I do not see any difference in swiping around inside the phone. It seems to be normal again. Next, I'm going inside the cameras to make sure that they are all working properly. So here again, something very strange happened. I decreased the exposure of the camera and I was seeing the screen flickering. I have never seen that on the Galaxy Z Fold 4 or 5 when they are working normally. So at this moment, I was a little bit scared of what is happening and you see I swiped up and the device simply locked. I didn't have my hand on the power button and you can see the device simply locked. Is this the beginning of the water damage? I decided to turn the device off and wait a few hours and check later. Currently, I have a big problem. The inner screen is not working, it is not responding. So this is maybe 2 hours after the water resistance was done. The phone is charging but I cannot see anything with the inner screen. So let me show you what happened when I try to turn the device on. You will better understand what I'm trying to show you. The phone is on, the other screen is working properly. But as soon as I open the device and try to use the inner screen, I do not see anything. The bad thing is that even if the phone is unfolded, the other screen is still working. Normally if you unfold a foldable device, the other screen should go black and the inner screen should be working. Currently this is the state of my Galaxy Z Fold 5. It is working perfectly on the outer screen but the inner screen is completely black and it doesn't respond to folding or unfolding. Let me know in the comment box what I should do next with this Galaxy Z Fold 5 and if you have any suggestion. I'm not really sure what to do next and I even tried the S Pen on the inside of the device and it doesn't work. Again subscribe, like and share the video. And I will see you on my update video with this Galaxy Z Fold 5. Should you submerge your Galaxy Z Fold 5 underwater? I wouldn't recommend it.